With functions, there's a thing called a domain. The domain represents the possible values for x. This is what we call the input. And with fractions, you cannot have zero in the denominator. And the other thing you cannot have is a negative under an even radical. With fractions, if you have a zero in the denominator, it would be undefined. And if you had a negative under a radical, you would get imaginary numbers. So to keep that from happening, we have to define what the domain of each given function is. Notice that this is all we would be worried about, about since it's the fourth root or an even root. So 2x minus 6 needs to be greater than or equal to 0. Adding 6 to both sides to solve the inequality, we get 2x is greater than or equal to 6. Dividing by 2 on both sides, we get x must be greater than or equal to 3. This would keep the domain larger than 0 or equal to 0, so you won't have negatives in your radical. In example 2, we need to find the domain of 3 times the absolute value 2x plus 7 squared minus 4. Since there are no fractions, and there are no radicals, all real numbers are okay in this function. The domain is all real numbers. Let's look at example three. Notice that this entire function does happen to be a fraction. We can't have any values that would cause the denominator to be zero. So we have to factor the denominator since we know that this whole trinomial in the denominator, x squared minus x minus 2, cannot equal 0, then if we take those factors and we say those factors cannot equal 0, then when we set each factor equal to 0 just like we used to do, but we say it can't be that, That means that if we solve for x, adding 2 to both sides, x cannot equal 2, and on the other factor, subtracting 1 from both sides, x cannot equal negative 1. Just to check to make sure that works, if we plug 2 in here, we'd get 4 minus 2 minus 2. Yep, that would make the denominator zero. Likewise with negative one, that would be one plus one 
minus 2, which would again give us 0 in the denominator. So that's the method for determining what values would cause this fraction to have a 0 in the denominator.